All right, so I know it's butt crack early in the morning, but I'm sitting here and this has just been bothering the heck out of me. So I just want to lay it out. You feel free to judge whatever you need to do. We are in a football league with six teams, okay? When you have fewer than eight teams and you are trying to create a playoff system, there has to be bye weeks built in for somebody at some point or mathematically you end up with not enough people to play games. So the way we've got this set up right now is that in week one, number one and number two are playing number three and number four. Number five and number six get a bye week in week one, which makes absolutely no sense. The two worst teams in the division should absolutely be playing week one. They earn the right to play in week one by not being very good. Anyway, so here we are. So the way this thing is set up on that calendar that we sent out earlier, the number one and number two teams are likely going to advance. And then what? In week two, the number one and number two teams are going to eliminate one another while three, four, five, and six battle it out for a right to play in the championship, it makes no sense. And if we're putting losers over here that in the week after, is there a loser's bracket? I'm sorry. This league's already disorganized as it is. Why would we even try to complicate things with a loser's bracket? That's beyond me, but that's just my opinion. Let me show you how this should look. And th this is coming from someone who, like many of you, been around football for a while. When you don't have eight teams, you have to set it up to where you have an eight-team bracket. And the way you do that is you give your number one and number two teams a bye in week one. That bye creates your seventh and eighth team, essentially. And if you want to do it the right way, you give number one and number two what they deserved, which is the right to be on opposite ends of the bracket because, hands down, we are the best team in the division, and they are the second best. So in week one, PSA and Upstate get a bye. In week one, the fourth and sixth seeded team battle it out for the right to advance to play PSA in the semis. Same thing with three and five. They battle it out for the right to face upstate elite in the semifinals. And then the winner of those two games would come together to create a champion. It's really not that complicated. This is how it should have looked to begin with. Please be, please feel free to share whoever runs this league this, this video. Tell them they can call me and I can help them with logistics because clearly they need some help understanding how things should pan out when you're doing playoffs. That's just my opinion. Call me if you have any questions. If you think I'm an idiot, feel free to tell me, but been doing this for a while. This makes sense. This is the most back asswards thing I have ever seen in my entire life. No offense to anybody who may have had a hand in creating it, but this is freaking terrible.